Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is truly appreciated. Virgo, this is a general reading for you which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God most high, angel spirit, guys, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? That's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you. Virgo, you have the high priestess. So you're being encouraged to trust your intuition at this time and to be aware of any situation that you are faced with where you may want to take action and or speak your truth about how you perceive the next course of action that needs to take place and or you may be considering writing it in an email. I feel like you're being encouraged to take a moment just to step back and then wait for all of the information that is needed in this situation before you move forward. I'm hearing don't rush ahead. Don't say anything. Don't send an email. Don't respond is what I'm hearing. Don't respond too quickly is what I'm hearing. Don't respond too quickly. You don't have all the information that is needed in this situation to make the best decision as it relates to your response to what should be or what you would like to recommend as the next course of action in your current situation. You see, she's pausing. She's She was typing, right? She was typing on her laptop responding but then she paused because she's thinking about it she's thinking about wait should i send this now should i say this should i not do i need to wait yes the answer is yes wait <laughs> so this could be um in the workplace it could be that you're part of an organization where you are a part of a committee and they're seeking your guidance or your knowledge as it relates to what should be the next course of action. They're waiting for a response is what I'm hearing. Someone's waiting for a response from you, but you're being encouraged not to respond too quickly. Just wait. Also, I feel like you're being encouraged to be patient as you wait for your harvest is what I'm hearing. Be patient. Your harvest is coming. Just continue to proceed as you are. What you're doing is working. Don't change what works is what I'm hearing. Do not change what works. It's working. Don't change it. Your harvest will come soon. Be patient. Okay? Let's see what else you have, Virgo. And also, Virgo, with the High Priestess card, if there have been some hidden secrets from you by others, give it some time. The truth will prevail. It will manifest itself. And as a fellow Virgo, right? Sun sign. You know, we are truth seekers. We want the truth, baby. We want the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Can I get an amen down in that comment section? Can I just get an amen? <laughs> All right, let's see what else you have, Virgo. You have the higher funds. So this confirms that someone's seeking your knowledge, your wisdom. Your insight, guidance from you. So this Hierophant, she looks like she's been through some challenges, right? She's been through some challenges, but nevertheless, she has still prevailed. And she still sits on her throne. 
she sits in her power. She knows who she is. So you're being encouraged to continue to be confident, to sit in your authority and whatever level of authority that is. Do it confident, confidently, knowing who you are, knowing your value, knowing your worth. That's the same thing twice, said a different way, but obviously we needed to hear that twice. So regardless of what may come up, it may be challenging. Stay the course. And again, others are seeking your guidance, your wisdom. Let's get one other card for you. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Financial success. That's just overflowing for you. That's handed to you from God Most High, from the universe, however you honor the higher power. That's why it's important for you to stay the course. Don't change what's working. You have success and you will continue to be successful as long as you continue to stay the course. When it's time to make a change in your course of action, you will know at this time there is no need to change your course of action. I'm hearing if it's not broke, don't fix it. Allow things to continue to flow as they are. Also, this card speaks to um, a new exciting opportunity coming your way, which will also yield abundance and success. That's a huge pentacle, right? That's a lot of coins. <laughs> It's one coin, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it takes multiple coins to make a huge coin. You follow me? So, this speaks to abundance financially. And I feel like the challenges you have endured, right? Even at the hand of others, still results in your success. And so, stay the course. Don't change anything. Continue on the path as you have been. Everything is working out perfectly for you and you will continue to see that your opportunities, that that the opportunities that are paid, placed before you, excuse me, will lead to success, financial success. It is, or they are opportunities given to you due to the fact that you've put in the work you've stayed the course you've been diligent you've been committed you haven't wavered and for that your harvest will yield success remember this is the pentacles again um, pentacles is slow moving energy I think I said that. If I didn't say that, I feel like I did say it. <laughs> but it is slow-moving energy. But it always yields. It always yields an abundance. It always yields. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Success. If you plant a seed in the earth and you take care of it and nurture it, you're going to get a result. You're going to get a harvest. You're going to yield an abundance of whatever it is that you plant. So the seeds you've planted, the work that you've put in is yielding success. Stay the course. Don't be discouraged. Just keep going. And I don't know if you heard the bubble. It's the second one. The bubble pop. I don't even know if you could see it. There's a bubble that just popped in the candle, in the candle wax, right? For me, when I have bubbles in my candle, 
wax. For me, that represents that God Most High is supporting whatever it is that I'm requesting and or letting me know that I am heard. And so take that as confirmation that this is divinely successful opportunities that are being handed to you from God Most High, the universe, or however you honor the higher power that's for your well-being. Yes, you may want things to speed up and you want them to manifest a little quicker, but the earth energy is slow-moving energy that yields success, that yields abundance, that yields a harvest. Just be patient. All right, let's get your final card for you, Virgo. This is a beautiful message, and I hope it has been helpful so far. Let's see what your final card is. That's for your well-being and the highest form of love and light. This is your numerology card. Thank you. <laughs> you can't even make this up. Look at that. What is that? What's that, Virgo? What's that? What's that? Hello? Hello? Abundance. Oh, don't you hear that confirmation? The ice cream truck is passing. <laughs> Joyful, happy music, right? You hear that? That is joyful, happy music. That is childlike music. That is fun music, right? So I feel like you're being encouraged to listen up, have fun, just chill, go with the flow of life and know that your abundance is on its way. Stay positive, stay focused, and you will see you have abundance. Number eight is associated with what? I can't hear you. What'd you say? What did you say? Virgo, abundance? Yes, that's right. Abundance on all levels. Financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually, um, as it relates to material wealth, all of it. You've got abundance. Okay, let's get more insight on abundance. This is awesome. You can't even make this up. Virgo, Virgo, don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> Okay, Virgo. So, Virgo, this card indicates a need to adopt to need to adopt an an attitude of abundance in order to attract it into your life. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to recognize the numerous opportunities in front of you. For the universe, God Most High, or however you honor the higher power, power is bountifully. And there is plenty to go around. Since you attract what you believe, you must improve your perception of the world. Replace your thoughts of scarcity, competition, and shortage with feelings of abundance, prosperity, and hope. The universe has an infinite supply of love, health, wealth, and wisdom. Therefore, a greedy, competitive mindset only prevents abundance from flowing. At this time, Virgo, you must recognize and address any limiting beliefs that are blocking this flow. Perhaps you were brought up to believe that money doesn't grow on trees, or maybe you aren't convinced you deserve to be happy, successful, and prosperous. When you change your perception and change your when you change your perception, you change your circumstances of your life. In order to improve your current situation, Virgo, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of life, cycles that are encouraging you to adopt an attitude of abundance. Excuse me. Share what you can with others because there's enough for everyone. Be grateful for what you already have and know there is plenty more to come. When you believe that the universe, God most high, or however you honor the higher power, 
is abundant, you can make your dreams come true. Virgo, the universe has unlimited abundance. So I always have what I need. I'm sorry, I didn't read that correctly. Let's do that again. <laughs> My apologies. The universe has unlimited abundance, so I always have what I need. The universe has unlimited abundance, so I always have what I need. The universe has unlimited abundance, so I always have what I need. Facts. So Virgo, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. And you know what, Virgo? Check this out. I always say every day, as often as it comes to my heart, um, Psalms 23, 1, 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want for anything. I will not because the Lord is my shepherd. However you honor the higher power, the higher power is guiding you, is supporting you, encouraging you. You don't have to want for nothing. You feel me? All right. So, okay. Thanks again for being here. I appreciate you. I hope this message has been helpful. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, give this message a thumbs up and leave me a comment down in the comment section to let me know how this message resonates with you. If you are a very private person, I respect your privacy. So I would encourage you to leave me a heart emoji of any color down in the comment section to let me know that this message touched your heart in some way, shape, or form. All right, Virgo. So thanks again for being here. Take good care of yourself. Remember, abundance is for you because you deserve it. You deserve it all. Peace and blessings to you abundantly. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now, Virgo.